Dagger coming up to the podium. Let them get back in and leave. 
and I know they show a lot of character in our team. And they show a lot of growth throughout the whole team. But, uh, again, not wavering just because things start to turn the other way. But uh, get excited about the opportunity to throw out and make something happen. And our guys did that. Did he see you coach say anything to you after the game? Uh, he, gave me, he gave me a little slight shit. Is that, is that the way to look at things? You know, there are, there are coaches in the past who say, if you can score on us, whenever you can score on us, you get over the zero. I mean, because it, it does jump out. Um, we're trying to score. You know, um, to take the lead for anybody. I mean, where is in a rule book that says you have to do that? You know, for anyone to be upset, that's not my fault. You know, we're trying to score. That's what we ask our kids to do. We go to work every single week to score. That's what we want to do. We have some young guys in there, too. That's our objective to score points. Coach so Garrett's Johnson it seems like every week he finds a new way to get into the end zone. Just talk about how big this play is this season. I'm running out of things to say about kids. You know, he just he does it all for us, man. He's he's awesome. He's great to have plays on our football team. Uh, kids just love their football. I, I think he earns our best football player on the team. You know, overall football player. He's, he's that guy. You know, he's just, like you said, he finds a way to get in the end zone. Anybody change the name of TV? <laughs> if, if someone did that to you, like they were up at two scores, they went out the clock and scored on you, would you not be upset or would you just? It was like that for a couple years there. And I didn't get upset with anybody. It's our job to stop. That's the way it is. That's good. Uh, I didn't think we were playing well off this. You know, we need to finish the ball game. You finished strong defensively. Nigel had a key interception, but you had kind of a funk there. How would you assess the defensive performance overall? Um, Helping the 22 points, um, I take that. You know, we got turnover there. Uh, again, we got to do a better job on first down. I think um, our football team now, we're not good on first down, which caused all the other downs to be a little easier. You know, we got to get off the field in a third down situation. And if not, we're in the right position to give up a little. Play we should be able to put on. I think I like about our defense that they did but didn't break. You know, they, they, just, they moved the ball, so they didn't get in the end zone every time they were down there. That's something you always talk about um, on the defense side of the ball, I mean, especially nowadays. College football, we want to spread that tempo. People are going to get a lot of yardage. You know, the key, the key thing we want to do is keep out the end zone. You know, if our guys did that, they had a couple stops behind them, had a good field goal, they took a touchdown. I thought it was a great stop down there, a two point conversion, really changed the momentum for us. How would you assess uh, Mitch Wilcox's performance today? Mitch, Mitch, played, Mitch played well. You know, uh, he made some plays for us. And, uh, he's the only tight end that played in that ball game. Uh, I thought he played well. Uh, I thought uh, he made some bonehead mistakes. He had some, some penalties in there that uh, we, can't, we just can't have. But overall, I thought Mitch did a great job for us. You mentioned first down and how defense is struggling there. Is that Inability to stop the run because a lot of runners first down, a lot of runners between the tackles looks like it is. Well, it's just on first down, you're going to try to keep them out of the stick. You don't want them to get four or five yards on first down. You're going to try to keep them less than four yards. There's too many times where they were getting five or six yards on first, first down, and then it makes it a little easier for the offense when you're in that situation. So I think we can do a better job overall on first down defensively and, and, and help us. But even then, you know, it was plenty of time where we had them in third down and we let them out of there. I think it helps when you go know, first down, you get them behind the sticks, and then you get them in a long third yard, third down situation to where you just can't run in there or get a fourth and one and, and try to go for it. But uh, it was good our guy stopped him twice on fourth and they moved all day. The pressure that y'all gave on that two point conversion was 24 22. What was the key to that play? The pressure you put on the quarterback or the coverage in the corner of the end zone? I thought it was the coverage. We didn't bring the pressure. You know, the DN did a great job of not letting the quarterback just run out. We had a feeling that they were going to try to sprint out the out of pocket and, and throw kind of a pass everybody doing to in this situation. And, uh, I caught Vincent about not allowing the quarterback to sprint out and I uh, got uh, play coverage and did a good job of not allowing him to have any throw with him. Coach Marlon Mack, another great game, had the great long run, fumbles on the next play. <clears throat> what do you say to him coming off the – Keep your head on. Marlon. <laughs> Don't fumble the ball. You know. um, to be honest with you, I didn't say anything to Marlon. I think Marlon, uh, 
really upset with himself. And, uh, that he, he, uh, he has football the same guy. Um, and if Marley one of those guys, you don't have, you don't have to say much to him. You know, he, he gets the understanding, he has the team down. He knows how important that is to us with the ball. So um, I really, I ain't say anything. I'm sure Coach Pimpleton said something to him, but um, I didn't know that. Okay. They're going to the ball. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Good. We said that from the beginning. It's probably the most depth we've had since I've been here. And it's great that like guys come in and, and tear those that off. But I think all of our guys take pride in the position group that they're playing. And we constantly talk to our guys about taking advantage of opportunities. You know, they, they, they don't come off it, but when they do, you've got to be ready for it. And I see that our guys are taking that to heart. You know, for all those guys that get opportunities coming in and, and doing a good job for us. But he's right. We, we, we have that mentality that's man up. You know, we're not going to blame anyone or make any excuses. You know, it's on us. We're going to do something. A lot of these guys coming in and doing something. Do you have any idea they were going to have four kick returns there? I had an idea they were going to kick it short. You know, not kick it far. Not necessarily the mission. Uh, we've got to work on the mission. We've got to get the mark on the short. We've got to get the mark on the short. We've got to get some more yards for us on that. But I, I was really pleased with Mitchell catching the football. You said um, they weren't really trying to give you anything deep today. What was the play that looked like a simple post route for Rodney that he caught? Was that all it was? Well, it, it was, uh, we went four verticals and, and, and Rodney, we were spread out wide. And it was, again, if you pick a window to throw the football, and Rodney just went as fast as he can for the And uh, first peripheral, it was, it was great when they were out. Nobody was in the middle of the field. That targeted call first half, being on the other side of it in the Forest State game last year with Augie. As soon as you saw that play, what was what was your reaction? I was like, my man Rodney, he got up, he ate it up, he, he took that hit like a champ. You know, I was really impressed with Rodney Adam and how he got off the ground and I'm ready to play the next play. That was my thought. Do you think it was a target at all or did you um, get an opportunity to, to screw up and make it? Oh uh, well, it, boom, boom! I thought it was a target. It, just, it was just so fast. You know, yeah, I was more impressed with how Ryan got up. You know, I didn't figure too much about target after that. It was pretty impressive. Get up, and take that hit, and yeah. Did Phil Nelson look right to you during the first half before he went out? At first, he did. You know, and um, he did. And then as the game went on, I guess uh, some happened. He came out of the game. I didn't get it first. He made some good throws in there. Uh, they were moving the ball when he was in there. You know, um, just when they got down the red zone, they didn't do it as well. But they were moving the ball, and I thought he did a good job. Were you surprised that they, their first eight plays were runs? That? No, I wasn't surprised. Um, just a thing one way or another, whether they're going to throw the ball or run the ball. 